You, you're so good. Thank you. Hello, everyone. This is Julie Parker, owner of Your Inner Blueprint. I'm a physiognomist and face reader for those who, who don't know me. And that means that I'm able to interpret and translate the, the features of people's faces, which indicates their characteristics, their personalities, behaviors and skills, etc. And this month, if you haven't seen already, I am coming live every day. And most days of the week, I have a guest that I can that has volunteered to be read live stream. So today I have a special guest waiting to come on with me who I'm going to read and give information about um, really the value of face reading for sales. Many of us are in um, sales based businesses or we rely on sales for our livelihood. So this is a really powerful tool, usually an eccentric thing, but I've taken and created a powerful selling tool to use that to your benefit so that you can connect with your prospects and clients quicker and easier and really um it's like a personality profile at a glance, know how to connect with them quickly and easily to be able to get to the point where you can sell to them. So uh, let's see if you are interested in um, if you're interested in coming on with me and having a reading of your of a complimentary reading. They're just little mini readings, but they're lots of fun uh, to see what your face says about you and how people would uh, sell to you. Uh, please comment below with the words uh, that I'm in. And I'll reach out to you and coordinate that. Okay, so let's bring on my guest. So excited to bring him here with you. Let's see. Okay, here we go. Today is Megan Watson. So Megan, welcome. Hello. Hi. Thanks for being here with me. Yeah, thank you. I'm excited. I'm excited too. All right. So if you're joining us live, go ahead and connect with us. Give us some likes or hearts or comments and questions below so we can uh, connect with you and answer any questions you might have, or just show us some love by some putting some thumbs up or hearts or whatever you want to do. And if you're catching the replay, I'll be back to answer questions and comments. So are you ready to get started, Megan? Yes. Awesome. All right. So as I said before, this is used to help people really connect with how people want information given to them, how they want to be interacted with, and just really important and crucial information about how they like to buy, how they spend money, um, and things of that nature. So I'm going to start reading Megan. So the first thing I would say about Megan and tell me what you uh, tell me if this resonates with you, because I don't want to just say it. I want you to make okay. sure make sure it confirm it. But when people give you information, really get to the bottom line. Don't waste a whole lot of time, but also don't pressure you immediately for an answer. Does it make sense? Yes, very much so. OK, cool. <laughs> I always tell my husband to land the plane. There you like go. Like you're telling me something. So yeah. Well, for you especially, it takes time to. You're a um, a deep thinker. You want the information quickly. I mean, it would be a waste of your time, and you would probably check out quickly if someone was like, you know, slowly giving you little bits. Like, mm -hmm. come on, get to it, get to it, hurry up. I don't have time. But really, to have your own time to process it. Mm -hmm. So if they are like, come on, give me the answer, you'd be like, no. <laughs> So another piece that um, I see on your face, another pattern talks about quality and refinement. So if people are, if you meet somebody for the first time, um, it takes some time getting to know them. And when you're really, when you're ready, if you're ready to really relate with them a little bit further or maybe engage in a conversation, you'll let them know. Does that make sense for you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So in terms of meeting people, like new people for the first well, time, like if someone came up to you, like there's another person that um, likes to come up and give people hugs on first meeting. And it's like, whoa, for you uh -huh. to be like, oh, slow down, yeah. back up a little bit. <laughs> That's what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. And then also quality and refinement is really important. So if someone's going to give you a gift, it has to be of something like refined and really good quality. Mm. Yes, that is true. Other things would kind of be like, not interesting, <laughs> right? <laughs> kind of doesn't uh -huh. fit. Yeah. So... The other thing I want to mention that is present on your face is the concept that, and tell me if this resonates, that mm -hmm. you like to get deals or like, um, I don't know if you would actually seek out to get a deal, but discounts will speak loudly to you. And if, if you're recognizing that you're getting a deal, it will help. Would you, Does that make sense to you? Yeah, I think. And I, I think with the, I don't know. I think what, for me, what, when I hear that, what that means for me is that um, like, I want it to be special, like someone else can't have it. So I think it's less of that. It's like, 
on sale type of thing, but it's, it's like, it's special. It's a deal because only it's available to me. Is that okay? And that pulls two of them together. So like the refinement and the quality yeah. and like the uniqueness and the special, because that is a deal because you're the only one getting it. No one else yeah. can have that. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's how that would fit. Awesome. And the last thing is, um, when it comes to spending money, mm-hmm. I'm not going to say you're like a really big spender where it like falls out. You'd be like buying everything. There's a little bit of conservativeness there. Would you agree? Um, oh, I don't know. Um, Let's see. Can you hold your head up just a little bit? Yeah. So I would, th- I'm going to say you spend money, but mm-hmm. like not liberally. Yes. I, yes. Sense. I'm willing to spend on what I feel is of great value. Like it's not hard for me to, I think cause I make decisions quickly. It's easier for me to say like, yes, that's right. But I, I'm definitely not a bit like I don't even, even with what I do for a living, I'm not a big shopper. Okay. That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's see. If there's anything else. Um, there's another thing that it's easy for you to get people excited. This kind of doesn't really match with selling with um, someone purchasing for trying to sell to you, but as in regards to what you do, mm-hmm. and in case you all didn't know, she's a personal stylist and she is amazing and mm-hmm. so, so talented, Thanks, but really, really good at getting people excited and good in front of people. So that's another piece of it was like staring at me. And I thought, all right, I want to just mm-hmm. share that. So, I like that. That's definitely yeah. true. I think that helps for sales. It helps you sell, but when someone's selling to you. But if they, but, oh, yes, 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 I see. Yeah. Just a different aspect of that. Yeah, that's so cool. If, yeah, thank you. So if somebody were selling to you and they would, they were to take into consideration mm-hmm. the fact that, you know, getting to the bottom line, if they knew that when they first met you, like at a glance, if they knew that, that, that you wanted information quickly, but also not to pressure you for an immediate answer, and to bring you like to bring an aspect of quality and refinement and manners and respect. Mm-hmm. And then also, um, you know, that you're not like a big spender, like immediately, would that help you want to and want to relate with somebody quicker? Yes. And the, the first thing being that I need the information quickly, if it's, I, it's such a deal breaker for me that if I'm not getting it quickly, I, I can't, continue that I really can't keep listening. Um, even if it feels like they're not being able to be thorough enough, um, it's, that's sufficient for me. So yeah, that's, I mean, if someone, you know, if someone knew that and were able to sell to me in that way, I would actually be able to listen to what they're saying. So as I described this, it helps people become their prospect or client become more open to hear what you have to say because you're speaking their language and you're treating them in a way that they want to be treated. So giving them the information the way they want they want it delivered, and also engaging with them in a in a way that makes them feel honored and respected in a way that they like. Mm-hmm. So it really it it I'm not sure who's here with us, but if you have any questions, please post them below and let us know if you um, there, there's an answer or a question that you have that you would like to have answered. Uh, and I will go ahead and do that. Or if you're interested in coming on with me live for a reading of your own, comment below with I'm in and I'll reach out to you to coordinate. So Megan, this has been so much fun. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you all watching have enjoyed it. And I hope that you're realizing the value of what face reading can provide to really help increase your sales ability, shorten the sales cycle so that you can sell more faster and maybe for more dollar amounts. <laughs> Thanks, so, Julie. You're welcome, Megan. Hang, stay with me um, while I'm in the broadcast. But anyway, thank you all again. We'll see you tomorrow. Sign on off for now. Have a great day.